Hi, this is another video sponsored by Casio Malaysia. In this video, I will teach you how to use the new Casio 570 EX calculator to solve the inverse matrix. Yeah, as an SPM modern math student, you should know the matrix question definitely will come out one question in paper two, which is they will ask you to solve the simultaneous equation using the matrix methods. So in this video, I will show you the manual way first, then I will show you how to use the calculator to check the answer. Because in SBM, you still need to do this kind of question manually. You cannot straight away type in the calculator and get the final answer because you need to show the working. All right, so the first idea to solve this kind of question is you kind of need to separate them into the different matrix. So therefore, their matrix patterns are kind of fixed already. You will have a two multiply two matrix. This is a matrix order. All right, and then a two multiply one matrix. And it equals to two multiply one matrix. All right, so the two times two, basically you need to fill in the coefficient of x and y. In this case, which is the number in front of x and y here, you just copy. But before you copy, you want to make sure x actually align like this and y align like this and equal also must be aligned with the final answer here. Because sometimes there can be second equation, something like 4y minus 5x. Then you kind of need to move the x into the same position, move the y into the same position here. All right, if in this case, they already align for you, then it will be quite easy. This one will be 3, negative 2, 5, and negative 4. They will just write it down, 3, negative 2, 5, and negative 4. All right, here is depend, right now we have x first, then only y, then x will be on the top, y will be at the bottom. Sometimes it's y first, then you write the y on the top, all right? This one will be 8 and 13. All right, so after you solve ready, right, you realize this matrix is going to multiply another matrix. So when I move this matrix to the other side, it will become uh, inverse matrix. Okay, but right now you have one question. So you want to move this matrix to the other side, become inverse matrix. Should you move the matrix before this answer matrix or after this answer matrix? So over here, you kind of need to decide. So in order to decide it, right, the easiest way is you check the matrix order. Imagine if you move it at the back here, because after you inverse, it's still two times two matrix. You realize two times two here. You realize the middle number is no longer the same. So therefore, this path cannot be. Okay, so you just imagine if you move this matrix to, to the other side, is is before this matrix, you realize that 2 times 2 is over here, right? Then middle number is the same 2 and 2. Then your final answer is 2, 1. All right, so therefore, always remember when you want to move this matrix to the other side, it will be before this answer matrix here. Okay, so you kind of need to know about R. If A equals to A, B, C, D, A inverse will be 1 over a d minus b c d and a we swap place and b and c we add the negative for it all right this is the formula so i will just do like this this x y i write like this all right right now i want to do one over a d multiply negative four uh, which is negative 12 minus b c negative 10 okay which is negative two times five all right and then a and d we swap place negative four and three b and c we add a negative so it will be 2 and negative 5. And it will multiply with a and 30. This one will be uh, negative 12 plus 10. So it will be negative 2. Uh, of course, you can use the calculator at negative 12 plus 10. All right, you will get a negative 2. All right, then here, what you need to do is you need to use the horizontal, multiply the vertical. So normally, what, what I will do is I will use a negative 4, multiply 8 first, and then I will plus 2 multiply 30. So therefore, negative 4 times 8, negative 32. 2 times 13 will be plus 26. All right, then I will do the same thing for this one. So negative 5, going to multiply 8, negative 40, plus 3 multiply 13, which is 39. All right, then only I multiply my negative 1 over 2 into both of my answer here. The first answer, this one will be negative 6, and then this one will give me negative 1. Alright, so then I will just solve this one. So negative multiply it, I will get positive 3 and R 1 over 2, which is 0 0.5. Okay, so this is my answer for X and Y. So therefore, I know my X is equal to 3 and my Y will equal to R 0 0.5 or 1 over 2. 
Alright, of course you can substitute back uh, this answer into any of the equation. Just now you have two equation, right? Yeah, you can plug into either one of these to check your answer is correct or wrong. So let's try to check it out. Let's say 3x minus 2y. I want to say I want to see is it equals to uh, 8 or not. So my x equals to 3, I plug in here. This one will be y will be 0 0.5. This one will be 9 minus 1. Then I will get 8. Then I know my answer is correct. Alright, but then over here, I want to teach you how to use a calculator to do this kind of questions. Alright, so what I want to do here is I want you to I want you to focus here, okay, because in the exam, you will see something like this. Okay, so what you want to do is go to into the menu and go into the number 4, uh, which is you should be able to see matrix here. Type enter, or straight away can type 4 here. And then right now, I want to define my matrix. So I will define the first matrix, this one, as my matrix A, because later I want to move uh, before this answer matrix. Answer matrix, I will call it as a mat matrix B here. So my A is basically uh, 2 times 2. So I type 2 double time. Uh, so this is 3, negative 2, and then 5, negative 4. All right, then I will go option, and then I, will, I want to define another matrix B here. So I type 2. So my B is eight and uh, two times one. This one called two row, one column, two one. Alright, then I enter eight equal thirteen equal. Alright. Then you go into the option again, you want to do metric calculation, which is number three. Alright, because normally we will go into the option and we and then we're trying to find the inverse matrix. And then when you scroll down, you realize there's no inverse metric uh, at the option here. Yeah, because you're not supposed to get the inverse metric here. So what you want to do right now is, okay, you type AC. All right, then I want to go A inverse. So what I want to do right now is, I want to do something like, uh, after I move the A to the other side, I want to do A inverse multiply B. So my XY is basically will equals to my A inverse multiply the metric B. Okay, so A inverse, right, I go back to the option, choose the matrix A, which is number three. And then in order to do inverse, right, I need to use this button here. You see, and I type this one, it's exactly A inverse, but in this calculator, they have a matrix A inverse, okay? Then I want to multiply the matrix B, go to option number four. All right, then I type equal. I should be able to straight away get my final answer, three and 0 0.5, okay? This calculator actually show you one over two here. Yeah, it's the same meaning, All right? Anyways, I hope you find this video helpful to you. If you are interested to get this calculator, I will share a Shopee link at the description below. The link will bring you to the Casio official store. So for right now, the Casio Malaysia are doing some promotion. Whoever want to get this calculator from their official store, they will free you a Casio L file. I believe you know what is Casio L file. Basically, it's a plastic file which you can easily insert some paper here. Besides that, Casio Malaysia also will give you another 5 ringgit discount as long as you key my voucher code here. I also will provide you a step by step guide here. So, in order to use the voucher, first you need to go in the Shopee website and then at the search button over here, you just type Casio. You should be able to see something like search Casio shop. You click on it and then you should be able to see the Casio official store and then click on it and then you should be able to see the Casio scientific calculator over here. Just in case you cannot see, you can go into here, search in shop over here, you just tap 570EX and then the Shopee website will actually bring you to the calculator and then you click on it and then you just click buy now. And then over here, there's two places for you to insert your voucher code. First place is over here, you can see the more voucher. The second place will be over here, the platform voucher. Okay, the platform voucher is for the voucher uh, provided by Shopee. And then this voucher is provided by Casio Malaysia. And then over here, you can insert the voucher code I provide, which is the Casio map. And then you just click on apply. I already apply, so you can see like five ringgit off, minimum spam of 70 ringgit. So after that, you should be able to see the price from 79 reduced to 74. If you have any question, Feel free to post at the comment section below or else I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.